Hi, welcome to Calm in Action. My name is Michael Haig, and I'm a technical marketing engineer at Nutanix. Today, we're going to start using the Calm DSL. We'll create our first Python-based DSL blueprint, upload it into Calm, and then we'll launch the blueprint all through the CLI. Let's get started. So here we are within the Nutanix GitHub Calm DSL repository. If we scroll down, we'll see in the getting started section, it walks us through how to get up and running with the DSL. We're essentially gonna be running through these steps today. So over in my workstation, which has already been configured to use the Calm DSL, if your workstation isn't configured, please check out a previous video of mine that runs through how to get it set up. We'll see here that my local workstation is pointing at my personal repository. And we also see that I have no changes. So first we're gonna run the calm init DSL command. We'll enter in my Prism Central IP, and then I'll accept the default port and username. I'll type in my password and accept the default project. You're welcome to tweak any of those settings as you see fit. So we're all set now. We're gonna first do a calm init blueprint. And this is gonna create an example blueprint for us. Uh, this is a great way to get started. You can view the blueprint uh, architecture and it gives you something to start trying out right away. So if I do a calm get blueprints and I'm gonna add a dash Q to make it quiet uh, so it's a little simpler from a screen perspective. We see that my most recent blueprint is called Fiesta. And now we're gonna go ahead and create a blueprint based on the file that was just created from our init blueprint command. So you have the blueprint file locally as a Python file and then stored in GitHub. And this is essentially taking that code and compiling it and uploading it into Calm itself. So now if we do a Calm Git Blueprints, we see that we have our hello DSL right at the top there. So we've successfully uploaded our blueprint into Calm. Now, since it's in Calm, we can go ahead and launch it. So we're gonna say Calm Launch Blueprint. We'll give it the blueprint name. And then we can optionally add an app name. So I'll just call it DSL app. And I'll do a dash I to keep it simple. And now we get some information uh, about the blueprint launch and it will do some basic polling and we see it has been launched and we can go ahead and describe our app. We see all our information about the application. We see that it's currently in a provisioning state and we also see any of the app actions that are available to us. And at the bottom, we see a hint on how to run these actions. We can do a calm dash dash help and get information on all of the available actions via the Calm CLI. So we're gonna only be covering a couple of these today, uh, but we'll cover more of them in upcoming videos. Next, we're gonna go ahead and navigate to the Calm UI. So this isn't a required step when you're using the DSL, you're welcome to do everything from the CLI. However, when you're first getting started, sometimes it's nice to validate and view the blueprints in the UI form since you're likely more familiar with that. So we see our application that is provisioning. We're gonna go ahead and select that blueprint that we just created. So we can see that we have custom profile actions uh, that we saw earlier via the calm get apps command. We see that we have our service defined uh, with all of our uh, cluster specific information. Uh, we see, even though that credential dropdown is empty, uh, we do have a default credential. And when that is empty, we always use the default. Uh, so we have a private key here. We also have our package install tasks. We have macros. So. The Calm DSL and the blueprints you can define are fully usable. Every single thing you can use in the UI, uh, you can uh, represent via the Calm DSL. Uh, for instance, here we see custom service actions. So now let's go ahead and go back to our actual application. We see that's still in a provisioning state. Uh, we can go ahead and go to the audit section and we see we're in the package install task. So we'll go ahead and fast forward the video now. So now that we see it's in a running state, we can go to services and we see that we have our service. And then next we can go to the audit page and we see that we have it created. So now that we've validated that the blueprint was launched correctly and we have a running application, let's head back over into the CLI. One thing we haven't covered yet is that we can put this blueprint into source control management. So if we go ahead and do a git status, we see we have our new blueprint. I'm gonna go ahead and do a git add, and then we'll do a git commit and mention that we created our first blueprint. 
Then we'll go ahead and push that to our repository. And we navigate back into the UI, we can get into GitHub and we'll go to the fork section and we'll open up my particular fork. Now, if you're using an internal GitHub or an internal Git repository, obviously it's gonna look a little bit different. You're welcome to navigate wherever you have your personal repository. And as mentioned in a previous video, we do recommend uh, keeping separate repositories for your blueprints and then also managing the Calm DSL itself. So we see my repository here. We see my Hello Blueprint and the commit that we just made. If we click on the Hello Blueprint, we see that we have the Blueprint file. And in the next video, we're gonna go through this Blueprint line by line so you can get a feel for the architecture of the Calm DSL and how Blueprints are created. Thanks for your time today.